masayang pagbati na may ngiti sa aking mga labi. Naghahanap ba kayo ng makakatuwang sa mag review ng inyong anak? Meron yan sa DepEd. Ang Itulay Online Tutorial ay libre at handog ng ating kagawaran sa pangunguna ng OUA ICTS EdTech. Ito ay isang proyektong makatutulong sa mga mag-aaral, katuwang ang mga magulang o kasama sa kanika nilang tahanan para masagutan at maunawaan ang mga modules. Hangad din ng programang Itulay ang matulungan ang ating mga guro sa kanilang mga blended learning classes. Ang ating Itulay ay mula kinder hanggang senior high school. Bukod sa academics, meron din tayong mga special programs gaya ng All is Wellness, Reading and Math Remediation, Storytelling, Mommy Tech Talks, Classes sa Gramatika, Speech Class, Financial Literacy, at marami pang iba. Pinalawig din ng itulay ang ating Alive Program para sa mga mag-aaral mula grade 1 hanggang grade 3. Gayun din ay mayroon tayong ALS Program at SPED Tutorials na makasisigurong makakamit ng lahat ang inclusive education. May SPED Hotline na rin para sa inyong mga katanungan patungkol sa special education. Kaya, subaybayan mula lunes hanggang biyernes, mula ikasyam ng umaga hanggang ikapito ng gabi ang ating itulay. Sa ating pagtutulungan, maiaangat natin ang bawat isa. Ating itutulay ang pagkatuto upang di mapigil ang pag-aaral ng kabataang Pilipino. Itulay natin ito, Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your Tutor Match. Welcome to Itulay, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and SPED learners. Aside from answering the modules, The Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Alright, it's Monday, Earth and Life Science Day. Hello sa ating mga mahusay na grade 11 and 12 learners, parents and teachers. Mapagpalang hapon po sa inyong lahat. At kagaya po ng laging pinapaalala ni Tutor Tony, na lagi nating tandaan, ihanda ang ating puso't isipan para sa panibagong linggo na puno ng aghamazing na pagkatuto. Dito lamang sa... Ito lay level up. I'm Tutor Jules from Kaibiga High School, Caloacan City. Thank you to DepEd Region 4A, Calabarzon, ang ating uh, module provider. It is our main reference po. And for the attendance, guys, mga anak, don't forget, please share our live stream. Pakishare muna itong ating live stream, mga anak, then don't forget, to type your grade, section, your school, and location, or your division. Then the name of your ELS teacher. And please be respectful with your comments. And don't forget to like and share din ang ating Facebook page, Itulay ELS with Tutor Tony and Tutor Jules. Lagi, nandiyan yung announcement lagi, para lagi kayong ano, uh, updated sa activities at announcement na yan ng Itula ELS uh, online tutorial with Tutor Tony and Tutor Jules. And let us recognize 
the schools, students, saw teachers na nag-participate last week um, entitled Unifying Teams in the Study of Life. Congratulations and mahusay to Padre Garcia National High School of Batangas. Thank you po and our ELS partner schools from Luzon, Visayas, Hanggang Mindanao. And our ELS Teachers of the Week, Ma'am Christy C. Mercado of Aurora Senior High School, Isabella. Parang ano to, um, kasama siguro ni Sir Leo. And Ma'am Ladylin A. Dukay, Padre Garcia National High School, Batangas. And our ELS Partner Teachers, yan, ang dami po nila. Hello po mga ma'am and sir, maraming maraming salamat po. And our ELS Students of the Week. Adrian D. Alvarez, grade 11, uh, from Kibiga High School, Calaacan City. And grade 12, Jade, from Alibadba, Alibadabad National High School, Isabela, under Mom Irma Vanessa M. Manuel, Christina C. Pagan. Very good. And Lizabel I. Tilio, grade 11, Humes, from Kibiga High School, Calaacan City. And the ELS Top Student of the Week goes to Cassandra D. Katap of Grade 11 Humes, D. Pinagkawitan Integrated High School, Lipa City, under Ma'am Sherilyn J. Lan. Thank you so much. Maraming salamat. Mahusay mga ka-ELS. Okay, for the review of the week. Anak, pwede nyo na itong sagutan. Uh, mamaya, babanggitin ko yung uh, nasa active. Active students, school, tsaka teachers. So, for the review of week 2, write true if the statement supports the unifying team. Or T na lang po. And then, false if it doesn't. So, if you can still remember the concept last time about uni unifying teams, uh, write uh, type T if it is true. Uh, type F kapag ito ay false. Don't forget to type the number. Number muna bago yung sagot ha. Okay, pwede nang sagutan. You can answer 1 to 5. Pwede na pong sagutan 1 to 5. Uh, let me check the attendance. Okay, so hello po from Division of Leyte, Sir Rafael M. Radores. Nandito po ang mga estudyante mo from Mark Jenry Napoles. Pwede nang magsagot anak. And then, from Horacio de la Costa High School, ELS teacher, Ma'am Beverly Joy Lorenzo. Hello, Ma'am. Sir Enguero, yes, nandito na sila. Uh, from 11 ABM Gates, Malinta National High School, Senior High School, under Sir John Enguero. Hello, Sir John. And sino pa? Ayun, under din kay Sir John, si Angela, tsaka si Charmy. Welcome po, mga kay LS. And then, from grade 12, Ruby, Tumawini Standalone Senior High School, under Ma'am Joan Magaliones. Ayan, baka may sagot. Ayan, meron na nga. So, number one, biological system can be applied to all levels of life, starting to the molecules of our cells, all the way up to the full biosphere. Your answer is true. Aldea, Lasida, Madayag, Alvarez, Napoles, Soriano. The answer is correct. Okay, very good. Natatandaan pa nila ang biological system. And then proceed to number two agad. Huwag nyo nang hintayin guys na lahat kayo makasagot. Yan, meron ng number three pero wala pa yung number two. Ino na yung number three? Wala pa yung number two? For number two question is, all organisms are made up of similar and one kind of cell. Lahat daw ng organism consists of one cell. Tama ba? True or false? So, Na, may number 3 ako nakita, pero sa number 2, wala pa. Yes, false. You are correct, John Wayne Prieto. False. How about number 3? The coordination of the form and function of parts. Fifth function team strengthens the structure of life. So, what is your answer? And number 3, nakakatulong daw ba? The coordination of the form and function of parts strengthen the structure, the structure of life. So, number 3, nasaan na si number 3? Ito na <laughs> ang mahira. Nakita ko na sa, uh, kanina. Okay, so parang, ayun. Uh, Prieto ulit. Number 3 is true. Okay? And then, Palacio, you're right. Uh, Cassandra Katap, you are right. Okay, very good. Constantino, 
And then for number four, an organism can be completely isolated from its surrounding. Wala daw, it is uh, the abiotic and biotic, di ba? So, wala daw, completely isolated. True or false? Okay, that is in number four. Uh, yung iba, labo-labo na kung uh, may number four. And then yung iba, number one pa rin. Sige. So, number four. Ayan. Uh, Rochelle Soriano, that is true. True. An organism can be completely isolated, isolated from its surrounding, isolated sa abiotic at saka biotic. It's false. Number four, Rochelle. But you are right, Lo, uh, George Lonzaga. Okay? Kaya lang, George uh, Lonzaga, wala pong number. Pero itong kay Rochelle, sunod-sunod. And then, uh, number... Four is true lang. Yun yung, ano, hindi ko napansin dito sa number five niya. Ayun, may sagot lahat. Okay, so John Patrick, you're right. And then, four, you are correct. Alvarez, Mateo. Okay, next. And number five, energy can be obtained in chemical form in all the food we are taking in the body. For number five, that is false. Energy can be obtained in chemical form in all same answer, Legacy. And then, who else? You are right. So, Legaspi, aside from Legaspi, yes, Hubilia. Okay, tama. Okay, It's Bonifacio Day. Andres Bonifacio is considered as the father of the Philippine Revolution. He is the founder and supremo, leader of the independence movement against state, nakatastasan, kagalang-galangang katipunan ng mga anak ng bayang KKK, or simply known as the Katipunan. This national observance honors Bonifacio as one of an industrious and innovative worker and as a pioneer labor leader. Isang matapang at hashtag mahusay na leader. Tunay na isang ehemplo para sa lahat, lalo na sa mga kabataan. And World AIDS Day. Kailan? Sa December 1. HIV remains a major public health issue that affects millions of people worldwide. The theme of World AIDS Day 2021 is end inequalities and AIDS with a special focus on reaching people left behind. Who and its partner are highlighting the growing inequalities in address to essential HIV services. On December 1, 2021, who is calling on global leaders and citizens to rally to conf confront the inequalities that drive AIDS and to reach people who are currently not receiving essential HIV services. So, paano tayo makikijoin sa kanila? Wear a red ribbon on 1st or December 1st in solidarity with the people living with HIV. For the objectives for this day, week three, most essential learning competencies, based from the most essential learning competencies, describe the different ways of how representative animals reproduce. At the end of the session, the students are, are expected to, one, identify the type of a sexual and sexual reproduction in animals, describe the different ways of how representative animals reproduce, and realize the importance of reproduction to maintain the continuity of life. So the lesson for today is all about perpetuation of life. So when we say perpetuation, that is the continuation of a species that is ensured by reproduction. So these are varieties of organism in the animal kingdom possessing different modes of reproduction. It could be asexual or sexual depending on the complexity of their morphology and physiology. Yung morphology, na-describe na rin yan nung nakaraan, so that is a branch of biology that deals with the study of the structure, structure, the size of the organism. And then sa physiology naman, uh, nabanggit na rin yan nung nakaraan, so these are the uh, example ng mga animals, so let us focus on asexual. 
simple organisms reproduce through a sexual reproduction. So, ano to? What is all about a sexual reproduction? Offspring come from a single parent and has the exact copy of the genes, hence referred as clone. Ang tawag dyan ay clone. So, sample of asexual reproduction. So, normally, simple organism, these are the ano, lower organism. Yung mga, ano, it is na simple organism. Ito yung mga lower organism like the, eukary like the prokaryotes. So, ito yung mga binary, uh, these are the example. And then, uh, mayroong specific discussion per ano per type of reproduction. So, here, the binary fission, ang sample dito, yung planaria, and budding uh, for the hydra, fragmentation naman sa star or the system. And in sexual reproduction in animals, so, yun yung sexual, next, the asexual, is the production of new living organism by combining the two gametes from different organisms. So, the, from female and the male. So, gametes refers to the sex cell from different organisms. One male producing the motile gamete. That is the sperm cell. Ito, ito yun. Galing dyan. That must be fused with the egg cell. Ayan. And the process is known as fertilization. The product of fertilization is zygote. The zygote possess 46 chromosomes. 23 chromosomes galing sa egg or galing sa um, female. And then 23 from... Ano, from male, galing sa sperm cell. And then, nagiging zygote, that zygote develop into embryo. And here's the, ano, the enlarged picture of the egg cell and the sperm cell. Yan. Yung sperm cell natin, okay, dito muna tayo sa egg cell. In egg cell, it is, ano, surrounded by follicle, uh, follicular cells. And then, meron siyang cytoplasm. Ito yung nagpapalaki sa size ng egg cell, okay? The cytoplasm, which is responsible for the nutrients. And then, uh, meron din siyang nucleus. And for the, ano, sperm cell, normally, a male can, marami siyang napupro, na, yung, ano, fertile male, nakaka- uh, nakakapag-produce ng maraming sperm cell but only one sperm cell can unite with the ano, uh, egg cell. So, consists of, ito yung part niya. Meron siyang head, neck, and tail. Yung acromosome that is located on the upper part, meron siyang uh, enzyme. Yung enzyme na to, ito yung ginagamit para makatulong to penetrate the, ano, to penetrate the egg cell. Ayan yung enzyme na nandito na release of this part. And then, para sa movement of this, ano, for the movement of the, of the sperm cell, ito yung tail na ginagamit para sa movement of the sperm cell. And let us go back to a sexual reproduction. So, definition, description of a sexual reproduction, the formation of new individuals from the cells of single parent. So, single parent does not involve the union of gametes, the sperm cell, and the egg cell. So, wala yun. It doesn't change the number of chromosome present. So, same chromosome present from the parent. The resulting offspring is similar to or identical to the parent. So, when I say identical, kapareho. Without need for a mate, they are able to reproduce. Okay? So, uh, here's the uh, additional information. Different species have different numbers of chromosomes. Yung chicken, meron siyang 39. And then for cow, there are 30 pairs. So pag sinabi natin pairs, you, you double it, right? And sa chimpanzee, 24. Magkalapit talaga, no? And then sa human, 23 pairs. Banana, 11 pairs. 4 pairs naman sa ating fruit fly. Okay, next. So this is your turn. It's your turn, mga anak. So you are going to answer this. Reveal me. So, we will discuss each type of, ano, each type of asexual. So, let's start with this. Reveal the terms in Greek by replacing the number with the, with the vowels. Yung 1 represents A. And then, palitan niyo yung 2 into E. Then, 3 is I. O, 4, 5 is U. Now, for number 1, pwede nang sagutan 1, 2, 3, mga anak. Pwede nang sagutan for number 1. Medyo maraming sagot yung kanina pa. Hindi ko na-move. 
Okay, for number one, pieces of the parent breaks off and develops into a new animal. Yung parent break off. So, what's the word? A uh, complete word. So, number one, uh, identify the type of asexual reproduction. Ayan. Continuous yung kanina. Okay, lahat naman. Okay, sa so number five, nandun pa rin. T, 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 T. Yes, sila Boris talaga naman. Dinamihan niya yung T. You're right. Sige. Sa so number five din kanina, no? So, hello from 11. Opal watching from Jones Rural School. Hello, uh, hello, dyan sa Jones Rural School. And then, from Kaibiga High School. Hello, mga anak. And then, from Aguinaldo National High School. Ayun, medyo punong-puno po ang aking ano, comments. At nahirapan po akong hanapin kung meron na pong sagot sa 1, 2, and 3 natin for this activity. Okay, so Diane of grade 12, kumawin is standalone senior high school. Hello. And hanggang ngayon, good afternoon from Morillo. Okay, meron na. So number one, from Reliora, Katap, and Patigayan, the answer is fragmentation. Tandaan, when I say fragmentation, the pieces of the parent breaks off. Mamaya yung picture meron yan. My explanation aside from this description. Uh, may picture explanation. And then, for number two, process and weights. Anak, pwede nang ano, if you can uh, answer two, three, pwede pagsabay-sabay na, hindi na one, two, three. O, kahit wag nang isa-isahin. So, a process in which an organism divides into two and grow into a new organism. So, the key word there is divides into two. So, what's the word? Yes, you're right. Patigayon and Agustin Norin, your answer is binary. Okay, tama. And then number three, yan, binary, you're right. Legaspi, lastra, sino pa? Lastra, okay, binary, kasanya, uh, yung T naging Y, pero alam ko binary to. Girly, kasanya, that is Binary, okay? So, ang type mo anak ay binary. Anyway, uh, yun, yung isa naman, binary. Bener, it's binary, B-I. Okay, so, uh, so renyo, it's binary. Number three na tayo, process outgrowth of colors projecting from the parent and eventually buds off. May keyword siyang buds off. So, for number three, ayun, Carubio Joyce. Budding. Okay, next tayo, number four. So, balikan ko lang si budding, ha? It is a process of outgrowth or callus projecting from the parent and eventually buds off. Natatanggal siya. And for number four, mechanis mechanisms of asexual reproduction in which female offspring develop from unfertilized eggs. So, anong tawag dito? So, number four tayo. You can answer. Pwede na rin sagutan ng number five. Yung iba, number one, matcha-check din yan kung tama lahat ang sagot ninyo. Matcha-check yan ng ating uh, meron pong nandyan, nakasama natin, nakabantay sa inyong mga sagot. At nakikita po kahit nalilate, okay lang po. Kasi talagang delay naman dito sa Facebook. Okay, so for number five, uh, number four na tayo mga anak, still one, two, three, nakikita ko, one, two, three, so four and five, wala pa rin. So hello, yes, you are right. Reniel Ferrer Tangonan, that, ay, bakit? Number one pa lang pala yun. So number four na anak, bakit na number one ko ulit? One, two, three, okay, marabi pa, sige. Uh, Si under kay Ma'am Lat, si Mandal sa 1 to 3, nasagot na, tama naman lahat. Okay, from ano, from, from, ay may Marawi Integrated National High School, S.D. Olipa City. Hello, Sir Andro, Gabriel Papalia, uh, galing kay Mark Joseph Linda. So, what's the answer in number 4? Natatagalin ako sa number 4. Ayan, 1, 2, 3. Ang dami kasi. Uh, lahat, ano, active. Lahat gusto maging students of the week. Lahat gusto maging, ano, top-notcher. Talagang sasagutan lahat. Isa-isahin. 
Ayun, very good. Ayan, puro tama. And the correct answer is... Medyo matatagal. Marami pa akong didiscuss, mga anak. So, that is partenogenesis. Uh, that is partenogenesis. Bawi mamaya. Mechanism of a sexual reproduction in which female offspring develops from unfertilized eggs. So, kahit walang nagfertilize, na-develop siya. Then, let's have number five. Siguro, kasi wala pa akong nakita ang number four. Kasi ang daming sumasagot lahat talaga active. Ayan. And then, dito ako sa new comments. Ayun, sa new comments. Ayan. So, uh, Rilyora, ay, sumobra naman. Ay, na, na, ano na yung iba. So, you're right. Uh, Jairus Atienza, five, that is transverse. So, banggitin ko lang yung mga nakakuha kasi hindi ko napansin. So, uh, Galiosa, Frias, and then Alaras, Hapor, But, uh, lahat po. Okay, so very good. Nakikita yan ang nag-check dyan sa ating uh, Facebook Live. So next, let us have this fragmentation. Okay, discussion tayo mga anak based from the given ano, picture. Refers to the parent organism breaking into fragments. So nabibreak siya into fragments and each fragment is capable of developing into new organism. So, ano ito? Example dito, punjay. Meron ding yeast, pero not all. Hindi lahat ng yeast, ganito yung, as, uh, yung reproduction or asexual reproduction. Sa so, yeast, uh, meron din, but uh, hindi siya common ang fragmentation. Lichens, molds, um, ano pa, the cyanobacteria, the sea stars, planarians, and many annelid worms. So, worms, ayan, marami tila. So, worms, uh, mag-undergo sila ng fragmentation. So, here in fragmentation, let's say, itong sea star na ano, nahati siya or na nagkaroon ng instances, siguro, let's say, na nadaanan siya ng isang ano, isang material na nahati. And then, what will happen? Let's say, ito, tumubo yung, nag, uh, nagkaroon ng development on this part, yung dalawang natanggal, hanggang sa mabuo as another organism, which is similar, characteristic, or which is similar, or identical sa kanyang parent. And then, on this part naman, tatlo yung natanggal, yung dalawa, so, there is a development dito sa tatlo na part of the uh, of the sister, and then mother develop din yan to a new organism. Okay, so next, let's have the, ano, uh, the difference between fragmentation versus regeneration. Pag sinabi natin fragmentation, these are organisms that are fragmented, result in its fragment uh, growing into an individual organism. So, eto, let's say uh, this organism, kapag yan uh, na-divide, or let's say may mga nahiwalay na parte, it will develop into a new uh, individual. It will develop to a new. Ito, magiging ganyan din siya ulit. Okay? So, that is fragmentation. In regeneration, kagaya kanina dun sa starfish. And then sa regeneration, of course, when an organism wants to regrow a lost limb or any other part of the body. Kagaya ng lizard, di ba? Pag ano, natanggal yung buntot, ano mangyayari? So, magkakaroon ng, uh, ano, uh, it will regenerate yung part na yan. Pero yung natanggal na buntot, wala na yon. So, that is the difference between fragmentation and regeneration. Okay, so next. Let's have binary fission. Okay, from the word itself, binary, then fission splitting. A cell divides to produce two identical cells. Oh, each of these two cells has the potential to grow to the size of the original cells. Now, at yung illustration. From one cell, that is the parent cell, tapos nagkaroon ng DNA duplicate, ayan. And then sa number three, cytoplasm divides. It divide, na divide siya. And then, to form the two daughter cell. That is binary fission. Divided into two identical cells. Another example of binary fission. Uh, another example, by the way, types of binary fission. So, meron tayo uh, three yata, yes. Uh, here, number one is the longitudinal binary fission. So, in this sample, itong uh, organism na to, uh, longitudinal from the top 
to bottom. Yan, hati siya sa gitna. That is under longitudinal binary fission. Another is transverse binary fission. In transverse binary fission, nakahati siya sa gitna. So, may upper part at saka sa lower part. When we say irregular binary fission, ito, hin, um, um, it is split into two, pero not necessarily na may taas at saka baba. So, the, let's have another example. Yan. That example, under longitudinal binary fission, euglena. So, take note. Um, uh, sample of longitudinal binary fission, euglena. And then next, we have here the uh, paramission. So, yung paramission, ito. Meron, uh, meron sa taas and then meron dito sa baba or dito siya sa may bandang gitna. Transverse binary fission. And then in irregular binary fission, yan. Ano ba yan? That is an amoeba. Now, paano siya ma-divide? Okay, so hindi kita kung saan. Okay, so it divided into two. That is, those are the types of binary fission. Another sample, uh, binary fission is common among prokaryotes. Yan, yung mga ano, simple organisms, Yan, simple organisms or lower organisms like archaea, bacteria, cyanobacteria, and certain protozoa. Kagaya ng amoeba. So, meron tayong paramecium dito. Meron din tayong dubina, amoeba. Yan yung mga common na, no? na namin mention sa mga uh, examples. So, next, body. A new individual grows on the body of its parent. Of course, when individual arise throughout the outgrowth from a parent, this can create a colony of individual attached to a parent such as in corals. Ang example dito sa corals. Ito. So, sample ng corals. Yan. Um, so, well, ano mangyayari dito? What will happen? There is a, an outgrowth of bud. Uh, outgrowth bud. Magkakaroon ng may susunpot dyan na bud. Okay? And then, what will happen? So, pag, pag, pag nag-grow na siya, may another ano, susunpot ulit. So, normally, hindi na tayo-detach itong si corals. Ano? So, uh, they will form colony. Then, this from my reading, so iba naman may na-detach. But, in this example, ayan siya. So, nag-appear ulit or nagkaroon ng bud, another bud. Then, continuous yan, yung formation of bud. And another example of body of sexual reproduction under body. So, we have here the hydra. Ang hydra that is uh, uh, organism sa uh, fresh water. Okay? Organism sa uh, fresh water. A tiny bump appears on parent hydra. Ito yung bump na to. Yan yung bud niya. The parent hydra develops the bud. Yan, nag-develop yung bud. Then the bud grows kapag lumaki na. And then the bud breaks off to become an independent hydra. Yan. So, madadetouch na siya. So, that is under body. Another example, ito yung common sa yeast. Most of the yeast uh, mag-undergo ng body. Okay? So, most of the yeast, majority sa kanila. Ang reproduction or yung asexual reproduction nila ay body. So, mature yeast cell. Yan, nagkaroon ng budding dito on this part. The nucleus divides itself, then form the daughter cell. And next, parthenogenesis. A reproductive strategy that invo involves development of a female gamit without fertilization. Ito na develop without fertilization. Anong sample? Yung mga komodo dragon, the shark, water flea. Ito mga sample ng uh, nag-undergo sa parthenogenesis. Okay? So, let's have this. Uh, honeybee. Sample ng ano, uh, parthenogenesis. Yung honeybee, um, two ways sila. Pwede silang sexual or asexual. Pwede sila sa sexual reproduction. Pwede rin sila sa asexual reproduction. So, the honeybee, uh, queen, the honeybee queen in a colony is the uh, is the most uh, one of the most important bee in a colony bakit uh, she produces the population in colony so yung queen kapag na fertilize or nakipagmate sa drone or male male bee makakapagproduce siya ng fertilized egg so ang tawag diyan sa fertilized egg ay diploid when we say diploid consists uh, meron siyang two sets of ano two sets of chromosomes galing sa parent, sa male, male B, at saka kay queen B. 
And then, this, ano, this fertilized egg develop into female offspring. Yung female offspring na yan magiging worker or pwede rin siyang queen. Ngayon, how about this part na genesis without the ano, fertilization process? By the way, um, may mga ano eh, may mga, may mga interesting facts about queen. Yung queen can store ano, millions of sperm. Pwede siyang mag-store ng kanyang millions of sperm. Pwede uh, after mating, ano, may store sa kanyang body yung ibang sperm. And then, meron din siyang capability to release unfertilized egg. Yung ano na yon, yung egg na yon, it is not fertilized, which is, uh, based from my day, it is ano, fertilized by its DNA. Ang tawag doon ay haploid. So, ang haploid na yan, uh, it is consists only of ano, one one set of chromosome, which is yung chromosome na sinasabi natin, that is the genetic material uh, that can be transferred that can be transferred from parent to offspring. So, eto, yung haploid na to, yung anyang, kanyang chromosome galing lang kay queen. And then, the unfertilized egg, uh, ano, it will develop a uh, form a, ma a male offspring. At ang tawag dun ay drone. Another ano, interesting fact about queen. Yung after about queen, about what's this? Um, honeybee. After mating, uh, according to the expert, according to the expert, uh, yung, ano, yung process, the mating process of the queen and drone is very complicated. Napaka-complicated daw. After, ano, after mating, normally, namamatay ang drone or the male uh, bee. Okay, next, another example of parthenogenesis, aphid. Okay, some aphid species produce asexually other species mate. So, dual din siya. Pwede siya sa sexual, pwede rin siya sa asexual. So, aphids can reproduce asexually. Kailan siya mag, uh, pwede siyang mag-reproduce asexually? When conditions are stable. Okay, pwede siyang mag-reproduce asexually when conditions are stable and favorable. During early spring, they can produce clones through parthenogenesis. Okay, next. Okay, it's your turn. You have to answer this, mga anak. Um, match the organism to the type of asexual reproduction and their description. So, yung description, imamats muna natin for this type of asexual reproduction. And the letter of the description in its column. So, let's have letter A. The organism is split into two separate organisms para mas madali ng pagsagot kasi dalawa yung sasagutan dito. It's the description and the types. Ngayon, para mas madali sa inyo, i-match muna natin. The organism is split into two separate organisms. Ang tawag doon ay uh, binary fission. So, A, binary fission siya. And then, a new individual grows on the body of parents. So, there is a new individual grows. May, may ano na, may mga letters na. Pero dalawa yung sasagot sa bawat number anak. Meron kang description tapos aside from the ano, identify mo pa yung type of uh, reproduction, type of asexual reproduction. So, mamili pa dito anak. So, may nauna na pang sumagot pero let me uh, ano, uh, explain kung ano pa yung other ano, part niya. And then, sabi, a new individual grows on the body of its parent that is budding. So, B for budding. Oh, wag kalimutan. Then, multiple pieces of the parents break off and develop into a new organism. Yan ay fragmentation. Uh, wait lang. Multiple pieces of parent breaks off and develop into new organism. So, fragmentation. C for fragmentation. The organisms divides into two, leaving one piece headless and the other tailless. Each piece grows the missing body part. So, ang letter D, uh, transverse fission. How about letter E? Females egg develop into a new organism without being fertilized by a sperm cell. Katatapos lang natin. That is par parthenogenesis. Okay, ready? So, dalawa yung sagot, anak ha, hindi lang isa. Kasi nakita ko yung iba, uh, meron na. One is letter E, honeybee, uh, honeybee, ano ang description ng honeybee? Uh, ang sagot nyo ay E, and that is part na no, Genesis. Katatapos nga lang, so it's correct. You are right, uh, Luke, Sipagan, uh, Geronco, Torres, Corpus, 
or Gino. Okay, very good. You're right, Pabregas. Kompleto si Pabregas kasi yung iba, isa lang. You are right, uh, Karubio. And then, let's have number two, mga anak. Number two. You can answer two, three, four, five. Pwede nang, ano, sagutan yung iba. Huwag nang isa-isayin. Talagang gusto maging, ano, student of the week. Or top student. Ini isa-isa talaga. Pwede nang sagutan yung two, three, four, five para mas mabilis. So, for Hydra, number two. Meron na ba? Nako, lahat sumasagot. Hindi makapasok si number two. No need to wait for number two. Pwede na rin sagutan ang number three. Pwede na rin sagutan ang number four. And five. Okay, for number one pa rin. Ayun, budding. Uh, Cassandra de la Cruz, it's budding, yung Hydra. Okay, letter B, budding. You're right. Very good. Nepomiseno. Okay, tama rin. How about in number three? Ayan. So, number two, transverse. Uh, hindi siya transverse, hindi siya transverse anak. It's budding. So, okay, you're right. Legaspi, Napoles. Espinosa, okay, Carubio, Rado. So, dito tayo sa number 3. Kung pwede, sa number 4 na yung iba, number 5 na rin. Para mas mabilis tayo. Okay, so number 2 pa rin yung iba, number 1. So, for number 3, Amiba. For Amiba, meron na ba? Wow, what happened to you, uh, no, Napoles? Budding, budding. Talaga naman, inulit-ulit. Okay, tama. O, oh, sige. You're right. Uh, Napoles. Okay. So, ayun. Yung iba, nakara nakarating na nga. So, sa number 3 tayo, Amiba, that is binary fission. You're right. Diyan, J. Madayag. And starfish natin, o, oh, sample yun kanina. So, sa number 4, fragmentation, wrong cell choice, or genome. Okay, and then sa number 5, ayan, para mabasa agad, i, ano nyo, sagutan nyo agad yung nasa baba kasi lahat nakatuon dun sa number 1, 2, 3, and then kung nauna ka na, you may answer number 5. Okay, for number 5, the flatworm, same, same with the, ano, the starfish that is fragmentation. Okay, next tayo. O, oh, meron pa 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And medyo mahirapan akong uh, the time na, uh, yung time. Kailangan kong bilisan, mga anak. Apids, mysis, uh, yung katatapos ng kanina sa apids. You may answer 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Pwedeng ano, pwedeng unahin nyo na yung nasa baba kasi yung iba, um, ayun. Okay, Anthony Pasco for the fragmentation. Very good. And then, for Arroyo, okay, tapos na yan. So, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 na tayo. For the 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. For number 6, that is Parthenogenesis for the blue-green Argae. Okay, number 6, 5 pa rin yung iba. For number 6, ayun, ang dami. You're right, Kata, very good. And then, you're right, ay, lumampas na. So, ra, Rodaje, Shina Rodaje. Okay, very good. And Mark Anthony Pasco. Then next, let's have number seven. Ay, na-click ko na. It's binary fission. Number eight, the blue-green blue -green algae, binary fission. Number eight, number eight, the black worm, yung worm kanina. Okay, for number eight, ayun. Tama, Cassandra, Cassandra Katap. Uh, Limuel, Luque, Binary Fission. So, number 8 naman tayo, mga ano. Okay, for number 8, that is under fragmentation. And for the yes, sige, habol lang ng mga sagot. Number 7, okay. And that is budding, yung yes. Yan. Uh, fragmentation kay, you're right, si Nakarubio. And then next, let's have number 10. For number 10, it's binary fusion. Yan. Uh, Malabas din mamaya. Okay? Tama. 
Then, sexual reproduction. Let us uh, proceed to sexual reproduction. The perpetuation of a new organism from two organisms with the use of gametes. In this process, male gametes, the sperm cell fuses with the female gamete. So, to form a diploid cell called zygote containing two sets of chromosomes. During sexual reproduction, the genetic material contained in the chromosome combined to produce genetically diverse offspring that is different from both parents. So, eto, there are two, two types. Uh, oviparous versus viviparous or bibiparous. So when we say uh, oviparous, when we say oviparous, uh, eto based from ano, based from the given description, these are the animals, the egg-laying animals. Yan, halimbawa niyan. And then sa viviparous, give birth of young one sample. Okay, next, here in, ano, for the further explanation about this, ito, uh, meron tayong example, identify if it is, ano, under oviparous or bibiparous. Bibiparous or bibiparous. So, a turtle, that is oviparous, and then an eagle, that is oviparous. Pwede, ano, pwede nyo nang sagutan ito up to 1 to 10. Kahit hindi nyo nasasagutan lahat yung 1, 2, 3, okay. Uh, Orgino, very good. And then, nasa 10 pa yung iba. So, 1, that is oviparous. Number 2, meron na tayo, eagle. And then, for number 3, giraffe, that is bibiparous. And salmon, oviparous, may egg. And a monkey, okay, kagaya natin, bibiparous, human. And the frogs for number seven, oviparous, bonobo, okay, for the clownfish, and the cattle. So, bibiparous, I think, uh, ano yan, madali na lang intindihan. So, let me proceed to the next. Guess me, complete the statement below uh, by naming the figure or drawing given. During sexual reproduction, a haploid, etong haploid na to, so, what is this? Number one, unites with a haploid blank cell to form a diploid. In human, the chromosome of the sperm cell has 23 and the egg cell 23. After fertilization, the combined egg cell and sperm cell, known as blank, contain two sets of chromosomes, which is 46. It later grows and develops to be blank. Okay, so... Ayan, nagbibiparus, pero shortcut na tayo, anak. Okay, very good. Sumagot pa rin sila sa 1 to 10. Okay, natapos ang 1 to 10. Masagutan na rin lahat ni Daniela. So, number 1, that is sperm cell. You are right. Sino yung sperm cell na yun? Si Lebores. Very good. How about in number 2? Ano yung number 2? Okay, number one, sex one. Ano, hindi po. So, egg cell, Napoles. Okay, that is the egg. Okay, may cell na doon, continuation. And then, so number three, that is zygote. And then, for number four, ano yung number four? For number four, ayan, the child. Yan, sinagutan na niya lahat, si Cassandra Katap. Ayan, the child, fetus, or offspring. Now, the ELS activity of the week. How would you explain the relationship of life? Perpetuation with the evolution of life. Paki screenshot mga anak. This is for, ano, for this week. Uh, ELS activity of the week. So, you have to answer this. Um, Ipopost din pala sa, ano, sa Facebook page. So, the mahusay answer of the week. By the way, ang daming magagandang sagot. But, ito ang, ano, Based from the plagiarism checker, anak, 75%, 50% plagiarized. May issue. May issue siya. Plagiarized siya. Ibig sabihin, copy-paste lang yung ginawa nyo. And based from those answer, chinek nam, namin isa-isa, ito po ang 100% unique. Mahusay answer of the week goes to Says Ansi Karabian of grade 11, ABM, Beryl, Aurora, Senior High School of Isabella, under Sir Leo P. Angel. According to her, uh, according to the quotation, our bodies are also ecosystem. It is home, countless microscopic species. Microbes are organism, include bacteria, viruses, and fungi. So the bacteria that live inside in the human body form communities. These communities are part of the human body's environment. Talagang, ano niya, inexplain niya in her own words. And then another Mosai answer goes to Cassandra D. Katap of grade 11 Humes 
uh, D. Pinagkawitan Integrated High School Capacity under Ma'am Sherilyn J. Latt. According to her, your body is not just a body. It's an ecosystem. Ito ay 100% ano po, unique. Okay, wala siyang uh, plagiarized issue. Kasi yung iba, ang hahaba ng masagot, ang dami-dami, and then uh, 75% plagiarized mga anak. So, i-check nyo muna. Gumamit kayo ng plagiarism checker. Free naman yon So, i-test nyo muna. Okay, baka kasi akala nyo, sinasabi nyo in your own word, eh, ano, yun pala yung exact term na ginamit ng pinagkuhanan nyo. Okay? So, the body is not just a body. It's an ecosystem. It consists of different body organs and plays an important role in the human development existence. As ecosystem have different kinds of living things. So, just like our environment, our body must be taken care of to be balanced and productive. Take care of yourself. It's your life and it's your home. Okay, ELS Bio Quiz, mga anak, the last part. This is a term used to describe morphology and genetically similar in individual. Is that clone? B, similar? C, identical? D, vegetative? So, what is your answer? Ano na yun din? Nandiyan pa ba kayo? Okay, it's clone. Letter A. Yes, you are right. Nauna si Orgino. Romicel Joyce Orgino. Okay, very good na. So, let's have number two. These are animals which give birth to live offspring. Obiparus, Bibiparus, both A and B, and no possible answer. Letter, number, uh, number two na tayo. So, for number two, medyo mahaba. Anak. Okay, so for number two is letter B. You are right, Rochelle or Gino. Oy, ba't lang kung very good tong batang to si Orgino? Saan may school kaya to? Okay, parang na-identify na natin kung sino uh, student of the week or top student of the week. Okay, Ramsel Joyce or Gino. Right. Uh, sperm cell and egg cell are used in sexual reproduction among animals. What is the collective term for them? Ano ba? Ano ba to? Is it body cells, gametes, haploid, or diploid? So, what is your answer in number three? Kumusta ang number three? Ang dami. The answer is letter B. Okay? That is known as gametes. And for the last part, ito yung daging natin. So, last part, be inspired and be blessed. Everything that the course teaches and prepares you for the next stage of life. Nothing is lost by Zig Zaglar, an American author and motivational speaker. So, perpetuation of life, meron tayong stages, no? Sa stages ng ating buhay, ngayon, nasa stage kayo ng pag-aaral. And thank you so much at nandito kayo uh, sa ating online tutorial. You are gaining something. So, walang, ano, walang uh, sa mga stages of life natin, uh, you have to enjoy. Huwag kayong magmadali. Kagaya ngayon, nag-review. Huwag niyong, ano, huwag niyong unahan or huwag kayong magmadali na maging nanay kagaya ng mga nangyara sa iba nating mga kabataan okay so uh, kung nagkamali ka man nating is lost you have to learn from it okay so dapat matutunan ang mga pinagdaanan and the reference don't forget uh, for the feedback we openly welcome your feedback, comments, complaints, suggestions, and concern about what we are doing well and what you do think that we could do better. Okay, ipa-plus din namin yan sa ating Facebook page. Thank you so much. And that ends our session for this day. Maraming salamat. Goodbye. Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo ring panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!